I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins add-on 3D printed castle ramp. So this is an update to the short that I put out earlier today while this was still printing. And I need to start my update with a correction. I said that this was by, done uh, by Amaroni. It's not. Uh, now, I did say that Amaroni does good things for the community, and he does. I have printed stuff that he has put out for my uh, master stuff before, but this was actually put out by Angeli Coleman, another dude that does a lot of good stuff for the Motu community. So I apologize for uh, naming or rather giving credit to the wrong person, although they're both good dudes and they both do good things for the Motu community. So here it is this is the completed bridge and so for those who may or may not be um familiarized with the situation here um i don't know that it's really a situation but the original uh, eternia playset the one from the 80s came with two ramps uh one was called the snake ramp it's the one that is currently mounted to the back of the origins one it actually has a little clip so that it goes into place the original one didn't have a clip you could put it anywhere but the drawings would normally show you have or show it rather having it going from the central tower over to the viper tower or from the viper tower over to snake mountain it was usually what the drawings would have and then they also had the what they called the castle ramp and the castle ramp was used to connect the Grayskull Tower to the Central Tower, or if you had it, you can connect the Central Tower to Castle Grayskull. Well, with this new Origins released, we got that snake ramp, uh, although it's just called a ramp now. And again, it's got a clip, it's got a home, you put it on the back of the playset, and that's kind of where it's meant to go. Um, I have put it on the front here, on the front and the sides, and you can do that, but it doesn't clip in, you're just kind of putting it there. But the castle ramp was completely omitted. So what Angelic Coleman did is he put this file out and he put it out to the community for free. So you can download this for free. I will put a link in the description of this video so you can see where to get that. And so he's done two of these. Uh, or technically four, if you want to go. So there is a ramp for the Origins playset, which is this one. And he's also got a ramp for the original playset, if you have that. And for each of those, there are two files, or rather three. If you have a printer big enough, you can print it in one piece, just like I've done here. However, if your printer is not big enough to support something of this size, then he's also offered it split, where it's split down the middle with some levers here so you can actually connect that and glue it up and make it a one piece. So you can actually print this in one piece like this, or you can print it in two pieces. And this looks really, really nice. Um, now, I have given mine a light sanding, just a light, fine sanding. Then after that, I gave it a wet sand, and after a wet sand, I gave it a clear coat. Uh, just a matte, flat, clear coat, and it's looking really good. I'm very, very happy with how that looks. You can see all the cool little stonework molded in there. That's really, really neat. The bottom looks rough because that's where all the supports were. Now, the one that's specific to the Origins one has four little support posts here. I don't know what they're really meant to do, honestly, and they broke off as, as I was taking off the supports. They broke off. I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, but yeah, these look really, really cool. So let's get in close here to, so that we can see how this mounts and I need to put this in place. And I also got a whiplash today, so I got to figure out where I'm going to put him. So let's, uh, let's zoom in here. Let's get in close so that we can see how this is going to work. Okay, so for the purposes of what we're going to do here, I'm going to take Beastman down uh, from his little perch here, attacking the palace guard. And uh, also let's take King Grayskull down because he is just going to fall down. I mean... I insist, I have a mental <laughs> problem, I insist on keeping my gray skull here, but he just keeps falling over, uh, and I just keep putting him up there because I'm dumb, I guess, I don't know. So the way that this is meant to work is that this flat side here is going to rest on the top of this floor here, and then this bottom piece is going to rest here on the parapets for the tower. This sits here really, really well. But then when you put the ramp up here, 
it's not sitting flush. This is not sitting flat on the floor here. And I don't know if that's just maybe it's it's too long. Maybe it needed to be a little shorter. I'm not sure. If you put the floor flat on the top here, then it doesn't really see that it, it does it doesn't really sit securely here. When it sits like this, it's actually sort of soft clipping itself over these two and then under and these two divots here. If you put it flat on the top, it goes over that and it doesn't really have anything to secure with and it just kind of slides off. So that's kind of weird how that works. You can just bring it up here and just have it up there kind of like a step. I guess that's one way to do it. Or if you flip it around and just put the ramp part down flat here, then it actually sits really nice and flush up there. So it still works, you know, it, it, it works fine either way. And then of course you can also do that over here on this side. You can actually have it clip onto those two parapets there. And then over here where my hand is at would be Grayskull or Castle Grayskull. But again, mine is a little too far for that. So that won't work. So um, I think I like that right there just because it doesn't really impede with the um, with the tower itself and I'm not really doing anything else up here for now at least anyway right now I'm not putting any other figures up there so I think I'm gonna go with that and then we'll go ahead and put my King Grayskull back in here try not to mess up his cape it's so cool that they give him a cloth cape but it's it's a little high maintenance too so we'll put King Grayskull there and we'll put my my beast man Back up here at the top, he's dropped his weapon, so I gotta, I gotta arm him back up again. And we'll put him back up there again, attacking the palace guard, and there you go. That's what that looks like right there. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this guy. Um, so let's zoom out again, and we'll do a bit of a... Uh, I'll show off what I've got going on here so far. Let's just put... Let's just put him there for now, and uh, we'll kind of show off my own Eternia, if you will, at least uh, how it's going for now, the way the, the way it's being set up for now. So I had to move a lot of these shelves in. What I ended up doing is because of the height of these, um, where these shelves used to be here at, let me move this over some more, at that height, um, that would not fit Snake Mountain or really... Uh, Eternia. So I had what I ended up doing is I just ended up moving the shelves down and then added some shelves here and just kind of jutted them out. So I've got starting over here with Eternia. Um, I may come up with a way to maybe bring Eternia in closer and connect them, connect the towers. I don't know if I do that. Maybe I'll just print another ramp and just you know have a ramp going from Central Tower to Grayskull Tower, and then maybe a second tower going from Grayskull Tower over to Grayskull Castle proper. I don't know. I'm still kind of figuring out this this display. I, I spent two days moving toys in here and rearranging shelves and doing all of that. So uh, I kind of want to let it sit where it's at for now because I'm just tired with the whole thing. But there we are. So I, I got Grayskull starting over here. Point Dread. I had really hoped that I could put Point Dread on Grayskull now that I have the, the, the shelf lowered and it was just not the case. So Grayskull, Point Dread. Uh, some of the floor pieces I've got down there, and then that just leads us over to Eternia itself. Uh, you can see that I've built a second dummy motor. So I have all three of my vehicles um, up on the track now. So you can see over here, I've got the, uh, the sky cage, and that's on a dummy motor. And then over here, I've got the battle tram, that's on the proper motor. And then way down here, you can see Roboto on the jet sled or the, yeah, let's call it a jet sled. And that's also on a dummy motor right there. I'm really happy with the way those dummy motors came out. It's just, they look so good. They just blend right in. And most people don't even know that I 3D printed them, which is kind of the whole point, right? So now it's kind of hard to see, but on the back there, there's a vintage attack track and battle uh, ram back there. Um, so, and then also my custom snake slime pit is back there behind Eternia and I'm gonna do something in that back corner back there probably I don't know maybe with Lady, Lady Slither's um, snake lair or snake castle whatever they're gonna call it maybe I'll do something with that back there I don't know so we've got Eternia here and then that leads us to Snake Mountain 
and then you can see the, my, my, my lava right there that I printed and then the land shark over here that leads us over to a vintage um, slime pit because you got to have that slime pit <laughs> and then uh, that leads over to the Wind Raider and uh, uh, yeah I I don't know I, I may end up doing like a horde thing over here you know have the, 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 the like kind of a fright zone kind of a thing I'd have to move the um, the Ghostbuster stuff elsewhere but Maybe I can do like a Fright Zone kind of a horde thing over here that leads into the Snake Mountain, which would lead into Eternia, Lady Slithers thing in the back there, and then uh, panning over to Grayskull over here. But that's my current setup. And of course, Whiplash right there because he's got nobody to fight with yet. Uh, I'll be taking care of that here in a few minutes. But yeah, I wanted to show off again. Thanks to Angelic Coleman. I want to make sure that I get that right this time for the awesome bridge that he or, or castle ramp he has made this available for free this is a free download over on 3d code so for those of you that have 3d printers or know somebody with a 3d printer that is a free download i will put a link down in the description below angelic coleman thank you again so much sorry that i did not give you proper credit in my short earlier today uh, you are also awesome and you are also doing great things for the community and we really appreciate you sir so that's about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys got any comments, uh, any questions, anything like that, by all means, uh, go down in the uh, comments. Let me know. Give me some thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.